Disney Pixie and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've made a video, but tonight is the opening night of Boogie Bash and I'm here dressed as Indiana Jones and I can't wait to bring you guys along, so let's go. Current time is 6.04. The official Boogie Bash is from 6 to 11, but we were allowed to enter the parks at 3 p.m., but it was super hot today, so we decided to wait. It's been five minutes and the line has not moved. So we waited in line for like 20, 25 minutes right at the front gate just to get in. That took forever. Then when you come in, you have to check in and get your wristband and all that. They have two lines, one right at the front entrance and one at Blue Sky Cellar. So we're gonna head over that way. Hopefully that line's a little bit shorter. Time is currently 6.54. We are still in line to get wristbands. It started an hour ago and we have nothing yet. Or alcohol. <laughs> yeah, or that. Finally made it inside for the check-in. Still have another line to wait in though. Like the queen out here in Cars Land taking photos with guests. Look how cute he is with his little cape and his this mask. Yes. No, you have to perform tonight. I got a bunch of people. No. I I beat Baby face will not be performing tonight. Mickey and Minnie are meeting guests over here right in front of the fun wheel. This is such a cute photo op. Absolutely love it. They are not passing out any candy over here though, but look at that purple. Love it. And this horseman gets you. You won't see another day.
Candy and cakes. That's better? All right. Oh, we'll, we'll make it work. Thank you. Find her and bring her to me. A tiny gust of wind. Yes, I know you're all dying for a bite. Literally. They're right there. Look at them. So juicy and red, delicious. Snow White picked them for me. I took her into my apple orchard. She chose the exact apples she wanted. She chose her own demise. And of course, I trick her into thinking she'll bake apple pies and it'll be wonderful. Joke's on her in the end, isn't it? It's time to go into Villain's Grove. This has for sure been the longest line that we've waited in so far. And Chris is messing up my lighting over here with his ears. But let's go see what's inside. That lady needed a it's so spooky in here. Look at this lighting and all the fog. This is so cool. I know this YouTube video was a little bit different than what I've done before even though I haven't done a lot but usually I'm like talking to you guys and kind of explaining more what's going on during my day at the parks but I really wanted to focus on the actual boogie bash itself and not like me experiencing it I wanted to show you guys the parade and the characters and that stuff there wasn't really a ton of like food options that were different than the normal like holiday stuff that they're already doing so I really didn't cover any of that um, I really just wanted to show you guys the characters, show you the meet and greets. The trick-or-treating is while you're meeting the characters, so it was kind of hard, 
hard to film that as I'm trying to take a video of the characters, which I thought was the most important part. I also wanted to keep this video nice and short and sweet, just bring you guys along with me, but I got a ton of questions after I was posting all over my Instagram that day. So I wanted to go ahead and go over some of those questions. Um, one of them was, is it worth it? I absolutely thought it was worth it. This was my first time doing Boogie Bash. I've done Disney After Dark events. I've loved all of them. I really enjoyed this one because seeing characters that you don't normally see and like they have more elaborate setups than normal was really awesome. There was a couple characters that I missed that I didn't even know were out like Robin Hood. I was really, really mad I missed that one. Um, all the rides are open during this event. So if you really wanted to do rides, you can do that. I didn't ride any because I was like, I'm here for the characters. I'm here to hang out with my friends. So that's what I did with my time. The time of this event is from six to 11, but they do start letting you in the parks at 3 p.m. It was really, really hot opening day. It was like in the high nineties and I didn't feel like going that early. I should have gotten there a little bit earlier. It took us over an hour to get into the park and check in. So we only had Boogie Bash from about 7 to 11. So I definitely recommend at least trying to show up at about 5 o'clock just to get into the park and check in. When it comes to food, pretty much all of the regular dining options were open. And I believe that someone said that Lamplight Lounge was also open. I didn't check that. The only one that I know that closed was Sonoma Terrace because they did have the dining package that you could have added onto your ticket. You get like priority seating for like the parade and you get like a little dessert party thing. I've never paid for any of those dining packages so I don't know if that part is worth it but I was totally fine with eating like at the Cozy Cone and just grabbing snacks all day long. They give you so much candy and chips and apples and carrots and everything in our goodie bags that we didn't really need to eat much after that because we were just snacking on everything that they gave us. To keep going on these trick or treat trails, like the amount of candy and snacks that they gave us was crazy. They give you like this little tiny bag to start with and the first one I lost because I put it down during parade and after parade, like I was so excited to keep going that I left it there. So I had to start over, but you can bring your own reusable bag. We just went into one of the stores and asked them for one of their like big clear Disney parks bags. And we were doing our trick or treating with that. But literally cast members were just two handfuls of candy, like at all times stuffing our bags. It was amazing. Totally worth the money just to get the candy. If you are debating if you should dress up or not to Boogie Bash, I highly recommend you dress up. There were so many people that were not dressed up or not even wearing anything Halloween. And I was like, what the heck? You are here for an after hours Halloween event. And it's one of the only times that Disney really lets you dress up in full costume, you know, other than a couple face masks and stuff issues. But like, you're not going to dress up. What the heck? Make it a Disney bound. Do something. But some of these people were like in regular clothes. And I was like, what? Like take the opportunity, dress up, find something in your closet. You don't have to spend a lot of money. My entire Indiana Jones costume other than my whip was from my house. Like I already had parts of it and I just pieced it together, dress up. It's really fun and it makes, it just makes the whole event better. Last thing is I just want to say thank you guys so much for following along and watching my video. I'm so excited to be getting back into YouTube. So go ahead and like and subscribe. If you're not already following me on Instagram, you can follow me at the Disney Pixie underscore and I will see you guys next time. Bye.